How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi Battle. Today we're having a battle versus Sunny in the Smogon Monotype tier. And it's Dragon versus Dragon today, which is going to be a very interesting bout, that's for sure. Stick around till the end for a bonus battle, and with that being said, let's jump straight into the game. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Sunny. So they're going to lead off with Dragapult, a very good lead. Does really well against my entire team was we lead off with Garchomp. I wanted to get the rocks up because it looks like they haven't got Hazard Clearer. So that's like what I wanted to do here. But we're going to have to chat. So there's no Terra in Monotype. So we can't Terrestrialize into anything like I Terra Steal my Hisui Gudra, for example. So we're just going to have to switch Hisui Gudra in on a potential Draco Meteor right now. Because it's our best Pokemon to take a Draco Meteor from a Dragapult. Um, so Blooper comes on in like so. Nice and powerful. They go for a Dragon Dance, so they're a Dragon Dance set, which is terrifying. Very terrifying. We basically have to go for a Dragon Tail at this point, um, which is exactly what I'm going to do, and hopefully we don't miss. They go for the Dragon Darts. Is it a 2 KO? It is. Oh, it was a crit, so not a 2 KO. Oh, we barely live in. We barely live in, but we do hit the Dragon Tail, which is great, which is definitely going to do half the Dragapult, which is great. And um, so the Dragapult is no longer Dragon and stuff, which is amazing, but it depends what they get brought out into now. If it's the Raging Bolt, oh, it's the Raging Bolt, I predicted it, nice. Um, we're in a bit of a pickle still. They are going to get their Protosynthesis in what, Special Attack? Yeah, Special Attack boosts. Um, I'm pretty confident we can take a Electric Attack from it, no problem. Uh, not sure about a Dragon type attack. Um, we may lose Gudra here, so I'm going to go for a Dragon Tail just in case. They do go for a Dragon Pulse though, that's going to definitely take out Gudra unfortunately as it does go down. Um, but this means we get a free switch into whatever we want. And the great thing about having Mono Dragon is that the Thunderclap is not a big threat to us. Like, I can just go into my Dragapult and drop a Draco right now, um, if I really want to. Or I can go into a Garchomp and drop an Earthquake. It hurts everything on the team pretty well. Um, I do want to go into Garchomp and Earthquake. I really do. Or Curem to uh, Icicle Spear, because that hurts everything on the team pretty well. I think I will go Curem. I think Kyurem does really well here. Um, being an Ice type, it has like, a good advantage over the other dragons, um, which is great. So I am going to go for a Icicle Spear here. I would go for Scale Shot, but I know my luck I'll probably miss. They do stay in because they don't have a switch into Icicle Spear, as that is not a 4 8 KO. So if we hit 4 times, we may lose our Kyurem here. So hopefully we get 5 times. We only got 4 times, which is really unfortunate for us. As uh, they go for a Calm Mind. Oh! I see. So they did not expect us to be going for an Icicle Spear there. They obviously thought we would go for a special attack or something or a substitute. Um, so I'm going to go for another Icicle Spear. Again, I don't want to risk it. They go for a Thunderclap. It's going to do a decent bit of chip damage to us. Not too much, though, as Icicle Spear is going to come through and take out that Raging Bolt. So we got a KO, which is great. The Raging Bolt is obviously a big threat. Um, but not to my Kyurem over here. Giraladon comes in, which is a big threat. If it's Iron Defense with... Um, body press, we're in a bit of a pickle. But it could be Stealth Rock, it could be anything really. We don't actually know what it is. So, just to stop it from potentially going for a substitute, I might go for my own substitute just in case it wants to set up. It might set up uh, Stealth Rocks or something like that. So, if I go for my own substitute, we should be alright. And um, they do go for an Iron Defense. Ah, that's not good. Um, Iron Defense is not good. If they're a body press variant, then we are kind of boned. Um, I am going to go for a, I want to go for an Icicle Spear or a Scale Shot. I'm going to go for the Icicle Spear. Icicle Spear comes through. It's going to do uh, not much damage to it, but it's still damaged nonetheless. And they don't really have reliable recovery. So any damage we can get on this um, Duraludon is going to be important. As there we go, we hit four times, which is fine. And um, they go for another Iron Defense. Again, it's fine because what we can do is we can just bring in our special attacking dragon types and we can just drop a Draco on this thing. So I'm not too worried about the uh, iron defense like setting up like that because like I said, it's not assault vest. We know it can't take a special hit too well. So as long as we weaken it enough with the QRM to the point where we can, you know, get away with loads of stuff, we're going to be all right. So there we go. We hit Icicle Spear all five times, which is great. Absolutely fantastic. As they go for a body press to break our substitute. Now, Kyurem... Kyurem is an interesting one here because we can't really... I would love to sweep with Kyurem, but we can't. So let's go for another Icicle Spear and we'll let it take us out. So we'll go for an Icicle Spear once again. May as well just get as much damage on the Duraludon as possible because if I like Duraludon is a threat, 
with that body press and the iron defenses up, it's a big threat. A very big threat. I mean, in hindsight, I could probably go into Dragapult to be immune to the body press, but it is what it is. So they're going to go for an iron defense once again. This time, I've changed my mind. I've changed my mind. I am going to switch into Dragapults because we can take a body press, no problem. Those iron defenses don't mean anything to Dragapult because we are specially offensive. So we'll go into Dragapult like so. Lycanro comes in nice and shiny. They go for a body press and obviously it doesn't work, which is great. So they've got body press, iron defense. They've probably got Draco Meteor. So let's go for a Draco. Let's drop a Draco on its face. There we go. Draco Meteor comes through. Cleanly takes out the Duraludon. Don't know whether that crit mattered because we are choice specs, but either way, Duraludon's out of the way, <laughs> which is fantastic for us. I know it's a little bit late, but if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more daily Pokemon Wi-Fi battles, be sure to drop a like on the video and subscribe so you don't miss out. Anyway, they bring their Dragapult in, which is going to be Dragon Darts. I'm going to sack Kyurem off here because they more than likely don't... Well, they might, because Draco Meteor will KO from there. So they might not Dragon Dance, and they might just go for a dra Dragon Darts, trying to win the, the speed tie. So let's see what they do here. They go for a Dragon Darts. Great, they were trying to win the speed tie. Kyurem goes down. Which is fine. I don't mind Kyurem going down. I do not mind Kyurem going down one bit. Because now I know that they are... Hmm. But what do we go into? Raging Bolt? Let's go into Raging Bolt. Good old neck game over here. And uh, we'll drop a Draco because I am confident that we can take a Dra Dragon Darts as long as they don't crit us. Twice. So let's go for a Draco Meteor. I'm pretty confident we can take a... Um, it's not Life Orb. Dragon Dance. It probably has something like Lumberry or Heavy Duty Boos. So they withdraw. They don't want their Dragapult to take any unnecessary damage. They know they need it to win the game. So they're going to bring Salamence in to die to a, Dra a Draco Meteor right now. Unless it's Sashed, of course. And um, they gave me Intimidate off. Not that it matters. We drop a Draco. And that is one dead Salamence if I've ever seen one. There we go. Salamence goes down. Which is a shame because Salamence is my favorite Dragon type Pokemon by a long shot. Um, so it is a shame to see it go down like that. But you know what? It's what it is. Raging Bolt comes through. Gudra comes in. Gudra is an interesting one here because it could also be an iron, de iron defense one body press. Um, so we have to be careful. Now, I want to go Garchomp. I really want to go Garchomp. Just because if they are iron defense, they'll try and set up on Garchomp because it's physical attacker. And then we can go for a dragon tail and just knock it out of there. So we'll go into our Garchomp like so. Draco Meteor comes through. That's unfortunate. Garchomp is going to go down to that. As uh, Garchomp does go down. So our, our Earthquake hitter against the Gudra. Or, but if it was Body Press Iron Defense, which it could have been. You know, it, it, was it worth it type thing? I think it was. I'm going to go into Kelp Me. The um, Dragalgi. Just purely for the fact that we can drop a Draco or a Focus Blast right now. And they can't really do much. Like if they're expecting a Draco Meteor, they can't switch Dragon Ball in. They can't switch Como in. So we go for a Focus Blast here. They do withdraw. Oh, they expect the Focus Blast. And they go Dragapult. That is ballsy. That is ballsy. They could have lost their Dragapult right now. So I go for the Focus Blast and obviously it fails. That play right there is the is a game ender. So I don't want them set up Dragon Dancers. So I have to go for a Draco Meteor. Because if I switch and they go for a Dragon Dance, we're screwed. Well, that Dragon Dance is going to cleanly take us out, unfortunately. So there we go. Down it goes. However, Raging Bolt can take any hit from this thing, no problem. It can definitely take a Dragon Darts. I know it can take a Dragon Darts. Um, it's just a matter of whether he should or not. Um, I'm looking at this matchup and I'm thinking... We I, we have to try and win the speed tie, right? With uh, our Dragapult. No, I think we go Raging Bolt. I think we go Raging Bolt. And I think they try and attack us with Dragon Darts here. And I'm hoping we can live to see another day. Let's go for the Draco Meteor. They do go for the Dragon Dots. I'm pretty sure we live. We do. Yeah, we live unless they get a crit. Unless they get a crit, we live. So there we go. Lovely job by Raging Bolt. We go for that Draco Meteor. Down goes the Dragapult, which is fantastic. So no more Dragapult threats. However, we still have that um, that Dra Gudra to do a lot of damage to us. Um, we, we have to let Raging Bolt go down at this point, which is a shame. Como comes in. Is Como going to try and sell up here? I think Como tries to sell up here 100% of the time. We have to go for a Draco Meteor, put it that way. So they're going to terrestrialize, <laughs> even though we we agreed no terrestrialization, but they're still going to terrestrialize anyway. They must have forgot, which is fine. They're going to terrestrialize into a ground type, which is absolutely fine. 
Um, it's not the end of the world. Drake and Meteor wouldn't have KO'd anyway unless we crit. So they go for a Clangor of Soul. Um, that's going to boost, give them an Omni Boost, which is a shame. A real shame. And then this Draco Meteor is definitely not going to KO because it's minus two special attack. So even if they hadn't terrored there, unless we get a crit, it would have been close as well. It would have been a close, 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 close one. But we can't even Thunderclap them now. So let's go for a Draco Meteor. They go for a Drain Punch. That's going to KO us, obviously. So now we unfortunately lose because Dragapult gets outsped by this Como. That is the uh, unfortunate part about it. So, Dragapult gets out of sped. We go into Dragapult anyway. Lycan Row comes in. And I think the only way we would have won this is if we get a crit Draco Meteor on the Gudra or something. If we out sped. Let's go for the Draco. I haven't actually got a Terra. We still out speed, but we missed. Are you kidding me right now? We still out sped, but we missed. We missed the Draco Meteor. Anyway, that was a pretty fun game. GG. Uh, GG. That, that was a fun one. GG. That was a fun one, Sonny. I, I enjoyed that one thoroughly. That was a great game. GG. And we have ourselves a bonus battle. Today we're in a bonus battle versus Cody. So you know it's going to be a good one in the Smogon OU tier. Stick around till the end for the rental code for this team. And of course, the Poke Paste for the Monotype will be in the description as well. I can't do a rental code for the Monotype team because you can only have so many rental codes up at a time and it'll just get out of order if I did that. But with that being said, let's jump straight into the game. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Cody. So they're going to lead off with Cinderace. As I kind of expected, I expected that or maybe the Slow King. So I went on with my Vaporeon. And just so I can flip turn on whatever they lead off with. So I'm going to flip turn naturally as they probably go for a U-turn themselves. As there it is. The Libero U-turn is a thing. It's going to do a bit of damage to my Vaporeon. Not too much. This Vaporeon set's interesting. So I've gone with the same set. I've gone with the Alo Aloma Malola. Um, with a max defense and special defense. Because its HP is already really high anyway. So in comes Garchomp. Which is going to give us some Rocky Helmet rough skin damage probably. It's nice and shiny. Gotta love it. We go for a flip turn. That's going to do no damage. But are they Rocky Helmet as well? That's the real question. They are Rocky Helmet as well. So we know they're probably going to have Spike, Stealth Rock, stuff like that. So we'll get Vaporeon out there. We'll heal it later. Um, and I'm going to go into my... I want to go into, Hydra into my uh, Hydreigon. Because Draco Meteor hurts their entire team pretty well. Um, so I am going to go Hydreigon. I don't think they'll Terra with Garchomp. I think if anything they switch out into Gudra or the slow king but slow king's risque so let's drop a draco real quick they withdraw the garchomp probably to go into the slow king which is still risky and um, they do go into the slow king though they are not taking any chances with me draco meteoring that garchomp which makes a lot of sense as we get the draco off on the uh, slow king which is going to do a nice bit of damage to it not too much and um, but a nice bit nonetheless so now we can switch out i'm i'm leaning towards the septile they probably go for, if anything, they probably go for a chilly reception. So I am going to go into Indeedee right now. This does give them a free switch into the Darkrai if they want to. Um, so I'm going to bring Indeedee in just to get that Psychic Terrain up ready. So that any priority moves like the Sucker Punch, for example, from the uh, Cinderace is going to fail. But also because Expanding Force on Armor Rouge is just so powerful. If we get rid of that Darkrai, we're actually in a really good position with Armor Rouge. If we can get a weak armor up anyway. So anyway... Chili Reception comes through. It's going to make it snow, which is not really benefiting either team, but it does give them a free switch out, which is the whole point of Chili Reception. And they're going to bring in Cinderace, because Cinderace can go for that nice stab Libero U-turn, um, which we basically have to switch into. So I'm leaning towards the Armor Rouge switch so that we can get the weak armor. And that way we outspeed pretty much everything on the team. So I am going to go into the Armor Rouge, like so. We'll withdraw. We're going to Armor Rouge, get that weak armor from the U-turn. Uh, we're going to Mordor, as I've called it. There we go. They go for a U-turn, which is great. It means it's going to activate our weak armor. It's going to lower our defense. But it also boosts our speed by two. So we outspeed everything on their team right now. Unless they're Choice Scarfed Darkrai. If they're Choice Scarfed Darkrai, we are boned. And I mean boned. Slowking comes back in. Makes sense. Um, I know Slowking can't KO us with Scold, so they might activate our weakness policy. So I'm going to go for an Energy Ball right now, just to get some damage off on it. Energy Ball comes through. Let's see what they do to us in return. Energy Ball does a lot of damage as well, which is good. They go for a Scold. Ac actually KOs us. Oh. I didn't think that would KO from a Slowking. But, you know, at least we got some damage off. 
on um, good old what's this called? So uh, that's that's terrifyingly terrifying, to say the least. So what do we do here? I'm gonna go Sceptile. I'm gonna go Sceptile, and I'm gonna go for that. Um, I'm gonna get that Psychic Seed, boosting our special defense, which is gonna be great. And uh, I'm gonna go for that Swords Dance, pretty much. And um, Swords Dance seems like the best thing to go for. So Swords Dance comes through. We have got that on Burden, so we outspeed everything on their team right now. They do withdraw the Slow King. What are they going to go into? Garchomp? Probably Garchomp, right? Cinderace comes in. Cinderace is a good one. And um, we go for that Swords Dance, get that attack up to sky high levels. Now I'm going to go for an Acrobatics, and unless they're Focus Sash, they lived anyway, and they go for a Willow Wisp. How do they live that? How do you live that? I should have terrored. I should have terrored there, but it's, it's whatever. And um, the snow is going to stop. If I had a terrored, they would be dead right now. And I wouldn't be burned. Which is a real shame. But let's go for that acrobatics once again. Acrobatics comes through. It definitely takes out the Cinderace. A Cinderace does go down, which is fantastic. So we got rid of the Cinderace at least. We are burned, which is unfortunate. But it is what it is at the end of the day. Gudra comes in. Gudra is a good one. Definitely friends us. That's for sure. We are burned. Do I Swords Dance here? I think I Swords Dance here. Um, just because we've got a special defense boost, so I'm pretty confident we can live a hit from this thing. Pretty confident we can live a hit from this thing. They go for a Dragon Pulse, which should not do too much damage. Yeah, yeah, we, we live that, we live that. So now we're at plus four with our unbur Unburden. And I'm wondering whether or not to go for an Acrobatics or a Drain Punch, because I, 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 I'm wondering whether they're gooey or not. I think they may be gooey. So, we should Drain Punch. No, we definitely Acrobatics here. Let's Acrobatics. Acrobatics all the way. Just half. As a, they're not gooey. They go for a Flamethrower. That's going to definitely take us out. And um, we got some we got some nice damage off, though. Drain Punch would have done a lot less than Acrobatics did. Which means it wouldn't have been worth it. But the weirdness disappears. We can get that set up again with our Indeedy, no problem. Um, now, what do we do? I'm leaning towards the Iron Treads. And I think I am going to go into the Iron Treads just to get the Stealth Rocks up because that's going to be really useful. Now that the Cinderace is gone and this Libero is no longer a thing, we can get the Stealth Rocks up just fine, which is exactly what I'm going to do. Stealth Rocks come through. They stayed in. So have they gone for a Flamethrower again? Probably, right? They do go for a Flamethrower, which is going to sting quite a bit on my Iron Treads. Not, not going to KO us. No burn, which is nice. And then we go for an Earthquake here 100% of the time. There's no real reason not to. As we go for an Earthquake, it should KO the Gudra from there. It does. That's great. Because based on the Acrobatics damage from a Burned Sceptile, um, it had to have definitely KO'd there. So Gudra is down, which means Hydreigon now can... Once we've got rid of that Slowking anyway, Hydreigon can put some work in. So they're going to go into Slowking, which makes a lot of sense. Thing's probably going to go for a Scold or a, uh, or a uh, Chilly Reception right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I want to anticipate the Scold and go for the Vaporeon switch and then wish into Iron Treads again. But I also want to just hit this thing really hard with an Earthquake. I think I'll hit it really hard with an Earthquake because they probably go for a Chilly Reception. But even if they Scold, it'll take us out. Big whoop. I want to weaken this Slowking. They do go for a Chilly Reception, which is great. So we got some damage off on them. They are going to get the Regenerator back, obviously. But it's weakened nonetheless, which is going to be great for us. So now... They pretty much have to go Darkrai here to finish us off. Gengar comes in. Gengar outspeeds us. Nice and shiny as well. Gotta love it. Get some Stealth Rock Chip so there's no Focus Sash potential here. Um, do we go for a Vault Switch or an Earthquake? Or do we just straight up switch out? I want to go Hydreigon, but they probably go for a... Da I reckon they go for a Dazzling Gleam here to be expecting the Hydreigon. They're going to Terra. What type are they going to Terra into, though? That's the real question. Is it going to be Terra Fairy? Fighting! <gasps> Terra fighting. Okay. That's threatening. So Terra fighting Gengar is a thing. They go for the Terra Blast. That's definitely going to take us out. It would have definitely taken out Hydreigon. In DD. Probably not in DD, but it would have definitely taken out something. As down goes the Iron Tread. So I couldn't really switch there. Couldn't really switch there, but it's not the end of the world. We are a Choice Scarfed Hydreigon, and I believe that they are not Choice Scarfed Gengar. Um, or do I? Do I, do I, do I, do I, do I? I think, hmm. Because if they are Choice Scarf Gengar, we're screwed. Let's go Indeedee. Indeedee can live any hit from this Gengar anyway. Even if they have Dark Pulse, it's not taking us out. So we go for a Psychic Surge. 
like so. And I want to anticipate the Darkrai coming in, so I'm going to go for a Dazzling Gleam right now. They withdraw the Gengar. Are they going to go into the Slow King or the Darkrai? That's the real question. Darkrai comes in. That's great. So Darkrai comes in. Nice and shiny as well. Gotta love it. Dark, shiny Darkrai is so cool. We break a potential Sash. We go for a Dazzling Gleam on the Switching, which is great. Nearly takes out the Darkrai, which is fantastic. So now all we do is we Terra Fairy. Do we? Terra Fairy, Terra Fairy, Terra Fairy. I think we Terra Fairy Dazzling Gleam. That way we can live a Dark Pulse from this thing. If they predict the Terra Fairy and go for a Sludge Bomb, I'm pretty confident we can still live. But if anything, they probably go for an Ice Beam, predicting the Hydreigon to come in. Maybe. Or, I don't know. We Terra Fairy anyway. Which is going to really help against this Dark Right. Indeed, he's coming through for us right now. So they go for a Dark Pulse, which is great. So Dark Right ain't going to do crap right now. He gets the crit. And it doesn't get the flinch, which is nice. We go for that Dazzling Gleam booster by Terra. That's going to definitely take out the Dark Cry as down it goes, which is great. So Indeedy versus Dark Cry. The winner is Indeedy, which is fantastic. So down goes the legendary Dark Cry. Garchomp comes in. That's a good switch. It's probably going to get up Stealth Rocks or something. That's for sure. And um, we are 100% of the time going to Vaporeon here. I don't mind Vaporeon going down to an Earthquake, that's for sure. And then we can go for a Scold, so... Or a Wish. We can go for a Wish if we wanted to. Um, so we'll go Aquarius, like so. There's Aquarius coming in. They go for an Iron Head, which is going to do nothing to Vaporeon, obviously. And the Snow is going to stop. And now, we basically... I, I want to go for a Wish. I am going to go for a Wish. They go for an EQ. We should live one EQ from this thing. We do live one EQ from it. We get the wish off, which is great. And now they're probably going to expect to protect. And they probably go into slow king, if anything. Or they saws dance. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to scold instead. Um, I'm going to scold because I, don't, I think they'll predict the protect. I think that's what they predict here, the protect. Or they withdraw. The withdrawals are fine as well. And they're probably going to go slow king, right? Yeah, slow king comes in. If we get a burn on the slow king, that would be really nice. Negating those leftovers. They get some Stealth Rock Chip, which is great. We go for that Scold. Scold's going to do no damage, but um, potentially burns them. Doesn't burn them. We get the Wish back, which is amazing. So now, we've got a bit more longevity on the team. A bit more longevity. Is it long longevity or is it longevity? I don't know. It doesn't matter, really. Um, I'm going to go for a Wish again because they probably chilly Reception anyway. So I may as well go for a Wish. Like so. They go for a slack off to get their health back, so that's unfortunate. But it's not the end of the world. Because Hydreigon can easily come in and go for a Dark Pulse here. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm expecting them to go for a chili. So I'm gonna flip turn into the Hydreigon. So we go for a flip turn, which is gonna do no damage to the Slow King, but it's still chip damage nonetheless. And we're gonna go into Hydreigon because Hydreigon can take any hit from this um Sloking no problemo. So let's go Hydreigon like so. If they go for a Thunder Wave predicting this, then so be it. But I don't think they will. They go for a Psy Shock, which isn't going to do much to Hydreigon at all, which is fantastic. So now we go for a Dark Pulse or a U-Turn. Um, I'm leaning towards the Dark Pulse. I am going to go for the Dark Pulse. They stay in because they don't really want to switch anything into this. And Dark Pulse comes through. They tell a chillingly bad joke. And they're going to go into the Gengar now, which I'm 100% I'm guaranteeing... The Gengar is going to come in right now. So let's see what happens here. So Slow King goes back, but it is weakened. Even after the Regenerator, it can't take another Dark Pulse, which is great. They go into Gengar. Gengar's a good one. It's going to get some Stealth Rock Chip, which is nice, but it doesn't do too much damage to it. Um, with it being Terra Fighting and everything. The Weirdness disappears. So they're going to expect me to go in DD right now, and they're going to go for a Sludge Bomb. So I'm going to go for a Vaporeon. I'm pretty confident they'll go for a Sludge Bomb expecting the Indeedee to come in. That's for sure, because they probably figured out that were choice by now. Either way, they know we have to switch our Hydreigon, so I think Sludge Bomb is the way they go. So, I'm going to go into Vaporeon, like so. They go for a Sludge, well, sludge Wave, Sludge Bomb, same difference. Does not enough to get the 2-hit KO, which is great, after leftovers anyway. And this means we get a free Flip Turn off, which is exactly what I'm going to go for. So, they go for another Sludge Wave. This is going to definitely hurt. Doesn't get the KO. We go for a flip turn, and that's going to damage the Gengar enough so that I am pretty happy going into my Hydreigon and dropping a Draco right now. So let's go to Hydreigon and drop a Draco. Maleficent comes in, like so. 
And again, I'm pretty confident in dropping a Draco right now. I'm, I'm, I feel like it's the best play to go for. They might be Choice Scarf, but they're probably not. They go ahead and withdraw the Gengar. And they go into Garchomp. So they're sacking off the Garchomp at this point, which is great. So we're putting a lot of pressure on their team with this um, Hydreigon. So that's great. So Hydreigon come through. We drop a Draco. Takes out the Garchomp, no problem, which is fantastic. So Garchomp out of the way. Vaporeon doesn't have as much to worry about. Um, we can just use Vaporeon as Death Fodder at this point. As you would expect, they go into Slowking now. Which is fine. Slowking is fine. Get some Stealth Rock Chip. They probably go for a Slack Off here. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to use this as an opportunity to get Indeedee in. Indeedee. Yeah, I'm going to use this as an opportunity to get Indeedee in. Because Indeedee doesn't really do much for us. I'm going to withdraw. And um, I'm going to go into Indeedee. And uh, once again, they probably, like I said, they probably go for a Slack Off here. So I'm going to go ahead and go into Indeedee. Like so. Get the Psychic Surge up, not that it really matters. It's going to boost their Psychic Attacks, but it's fine. And they go for a Psy Shock. Oh, good play. That's going to take out Ndidi. So I, I was going to go for a Healing Wish there, but I can't now. Um, however, the Sloking is weakened to the point where Dark Pulse KOs them, so I'm not really too fussed. So Snow is going to stop. We go into our Hydreigon right now. I know we take this thing out of a Dark Pulse, but... Do they switch out into Gengar? Because Gengar can definitely take a Dark Pulse as well. I'm going to go for the Dark Pulse. They do stay in, which is great. Slowking's going to go down. And it's, it comes down to whether or not their Gengar is... Um, whether their Gengar is uh, Scarfed or not. If it's Scarfed, we're screwed. So Gengar comes in. If it's Scarfed, we're screwed. Pretty much. It's down to half thanks to Self Rocks. We're going to go into Vaporeon and sack it off. Then we'll bring Hydreigon back in and we'll drop a Draco. If they're Scarfed, we lose. If they're not Scarfed, we win, which is great. Unless we miss the Draco, which could definitely happen. It's happened multiple times before. So they go for that Terror Blast. They're locking themselves into Terror Blast, potentially. Terror Blast comes through. Vaporeon goes down, which is fine. Absolutely fine. It all comes down to Hydreigon right now. So let's go Hydreigon. And there is also the chance that we live a Terror Blast if they're Choice Scarfed. There is a chance, I believe. So let's go for that Draco Meteor. They do... They are Choice Scarf Gengar. Let's see if it KOs or not. From full HP, it does KO. And that is going to be the game. So GG Cody, that was a really fun close game. I enjoyed that one thoroughly. Really cool to see that Gengar was really cool. And we did it just in the nick of time as well, which is amazing. So GG coding. But anyway, here is the team. Try it out if you want to use the code at the top right corner of the screen. Let me know how it goes if you do try it. I'm really curious to see your results. And with that being said, I'll see you all in a bit.